Your first house should not be your forever home. If you want to build wealth in the future and you are actually thinking about real estate as an investment, don't buy your dream house the first time around. What you should do instead is buy the minimum house that you need at that moment, whether that be number of bedrooms or very simplified needs and wants. Because every couple of years, you really should be thinking about purchasing another property. Now, how are you gonna do that, right? Because all of us only make a certain amount of income. Did you know that you could actually rent out your primary residence and then convert it into an investment property? So that means that you can now upgrade and buy a better home and that new home will now be considered your primary residence and your old home will be considered an investment property. How does the lender look at this when it comes to income? Well, they will actually take a portion of what you're able to rent that house out for and it can help offset your payment. So let's say your old payment for sake of easy numbers is $1,500 and you're able to rent it for $2,000. Well, you're able to take a portion of that money and offset offset the principal interest taxes and insurance up to that $1,500 amount. So it almost erases that debt out of your debt to income ratio. Now you own an investment property and in a couple years, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do that all over again until you have as many properties as you want in your rental portfolio. And this will help you when it comes to retirement. Want to learn more? Let's chat. Book a consultation.